Scooby Doo Bop. Scooby Doo Boop Boop Doo Doo Boo. Scooby Doo 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 Boo. Uh, there we go. Scooby Doo Bop. Scoob Boop Boop Doo Doo Boop. Scooby Doo Boop. Scooby Doo Boop. Scooby Doo Boop. Scooby doop doop, Scooby doop doop, Scooby doop doop doop, Scooby doop 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 doop, up 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 da da da. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Scabby ba. Oh God, why is Scrub it up. Whoopie doopie doo whoopie doo. Wap 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 wap. Ah. Ah. Wap it up 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 up. Is that gonna work? No, it won't. Cause I have to change the thing. I have to change the thing so I get some better sunlight. Cause the sun is out. Hello. Oh God, sorry. I just to wipe off my screen. I've been gone for, I haven't streamed in so long. It's been such a long time. Okay. <laughs> that looks not great. Okay. <laughs> Let's see about this. Hello. Let's see. No, that won't work. How about that? Oh, uh, kind of work. Good enough. As you can see, there's a lot of sunlight. And I wanted to incorporate that as much as I can. Also, due to a slight technical uh, mix up, uh, the sound might sound a little bit different, but hopefully not too bad. Let me know if it sounds like complete garbo and we'll we'll try to fix that. If it if we can't fix it then we just won't be able to fix it. But I I, I hope this this looks this looks fine. Do I usually stream there or is it just the light being different? I do stream here from usually, yes. It's just that uh, we're going into springtime, it's February, uh, and the sun is shining directly into my bedroom. It will stop doing that in a few weeks, but for a few couple of days, it's just shining directly. Uh, hello, we're going to play a few games, actually, first of all. pitch black outside i know it's it's great so we're going to play a few different games today we're going to do a test run of a charity stream that i have planned for some time this year i was hoping that it would last year but it didn't happen because i don't have anything it's the brightest i've ever seen in a stream that's because of the sunlight it's so bright um 
which is very good. I'm hoping to maybe have similar lighting to this uh, when I when I do stuff otherwise. My hair looks nice. It's oh, big big if. I'm absorbing vitamin D. I am absorbing a lot of vitamin D. Uh, but okay, we are going to, as I mentioned, we're going to play a few a few different games uh, as a test run for the for the grand history of the world charity stream that I have planned. Uh, that kind of got put on the back burner for for a couple of months, but we are out of 2020. Things are feeling a little bit better. And I think I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to have some sort of charity stream for either. Hang on. No. Uh, either for. The audio is so crisp. Is it crisp? I'm, I hope it's crisp. Is it crisp? Is it good sound today? Maybe it's be maybe the sound is better today for some reason than it usually is. Um, the history of the world charity stream is going to involve me playing through a series of different games, and we're not going to play through all of them today because that's that is going to literally be impossible. Uh, and. But the, more, the most important games in the series is going to be, we're going to play Crusader Kings 3. We're going to convert that game into Europa Universalis 4. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Shar Sharad Chans Chaney. Shar Charade Chaney. Um, we're going to convert a game to Europa Universalis 4, which is another grand strategy paradox map game thing. We're going to convert that game into Victoria 2, and we're going to convert that game into Hearts of Iron 4. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know it. I don't even know if it will work. Uh, and that is what today is about. So, in the spirit of that, today is not one of my normal streaming days either. So, today is going to be a slightly more unorthodox, if that's okay with you. I hope it's okay with you. Um, in the sense of, I'm going to, I, I it, it might be less less play and more me looking around for files to see if, if I can if I can make anything work work properly. So first of all, we have we're first of all we're going to play Crusader Kings three. We're going to make our own character as a test. We're, we're when we do the charity stream, we are going to make. Uh, a character proper. Uh, to, again, today's a test. And first on the agenda is I have to download the the converter between Crusader Kings 3 and Crusader Kings 4. We'll play for a few years. We're not going to play all the entire game. Again, we're doing testing. And if we end up having more time today than planned, as in we test everything, everything looks good, uh, and I still want to stream, we'll play some workers and resources, I think. That'll be great. So first of all, we are going to get this. So I have to go to content. Download link. So apologies for me being a little out of it today. Also, the the the, gla the screen glare on my screen is so so strong, so I, I maybe have, have a having a thing. Perfect company to a lazy Sunday afternoon. That's what I'm hoping to for. It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm hoping to have a good time. Also, thanks for giving away. Nice. Thanks for the giveaway uh, sub again. Uh, Shuri Ch Cheney. Can you be gay in Crusader Kings? Yes, you can. You can be so gay. You can be so extraordinarily gay in this game. So first of all, I have downloaded the converter, which is good. We're eventually going to have to download more converters. So CK3 to EU4. Apologies for noises because the cat is playing with a ball in the background. Perfect way to avoid finishing my essay. 
essays are tools of the establishment. Okay, so I have this. I have the converter. <laughs> now what do I do? S every converter has a detail to save game and convert it into a mod. Cool. Uh, that should be that then. I have the converter, so all we now all we need to do now is create a save game in Crusader Kings three. So we're going to do that. Also, I God, I need to hang on. Shows the cat. I can't. <sighs> can I be brighter now in comparison to my background? So I can, you can see my face? Barely. Come on now. How about that? Slightly better. Not quite though. God damn. The sun keeps moving also, which is like also a big problem. <sighs> you know what? That will have to be good enough. <laughs> Obviously, when I when I do the stream for real, I am going to have to have to fix this. It might also just be my monitor being very. No, I have to get a better monitor. Okay, let's play Crusader Kings three. I could before I moved. Damn. A cat can so we can always observe the cat. I wish that was possible. Unfortunately, the cat is far too chaotic for it to be contained. Okay, how do I add a game? Can you hear that music, dear fans? Okay, I have to restart the thing, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Again, we're doing tests. All of this is for documentation purposes. Okay, let's try it again. Alright, so we're going to play for a little bit. Again, we're doing testing. Like the lamp. Do you like the lamp? Is it, isn't it a great lamp? I like that lamp. Cool lamp. Is your cat going to perform the grand history? Probably. It's not my cat, by the way. Um, it's my roommate's cat. What is hap What I think is going to happen is um, I'm going to have to play this game for like a week. That's not a joke. Because I have to play Crusader Kings 2, which can take a, a, like a day to finish from start to end. And then I'm going to have to play um, European Universalist 4, which is also going to take, can also take a while. Victoria 2 can also take a while. Like these games can take a long time to finish. So it's going to take a while. But first of all, we need to save a game. So let's make a new game in the earliest starting date, because that is what we're going to, to do. I haven't played this in so long. Uh, we are going to play Iron Man. And let's see if I can have... Okay, difficulty can't be made harder. The, 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 the problem here is I have to make this game as hard as it can possibly be. Um, this is another, this is another difficulty of, of, of doing a mega campaign because if you play, if you play a game too long, 
uh, in Crusader Kings 2, for example, and you conquer all of Europe, when you start European Results 4, then you're not going to have an entertaining game because you already control most of the world. And at that point, you've like won the mega campaign. So what you have to do is you have to make it either extraordinarily difficult or you have to make it slow and find fun in other ways. Some people, when they do mega campaigns, they release uh, they release a bunch of their vassals at the end of the game. They mod the game in between. Hey, thank you, Sibiel, for, for the raid. Raiders. Nice. I mean, I'm older. Uh, this is the Dominic Radio. Very good. Thank you for the raid very much. Everyone check out uh, Sibiel as well. Um, but because of that, it becomes really hard, right? Because how, how do you prevent yourself from winning? too early on. So let's make, let's see, regional he heresies, heresy outbreaks do not have regional weighing, encouraging the appearance of more diverse heresies. Let's have that. We're going to have a random date for the Mongol invasion, that should be fine. Significantly slower culture conversion speed and significantly slower faith conversion. This means that when we go into Europe Universals 4, the game will be more diverse. Uh, diplomatic range is restricted. We can only talk to local people. I wish I could make cost of the costs higher. We're going to end in 1453. We're actually going to end in 1444 because that's, I think, is the beginning of Europe Universalis. Uh, the year requirement is on, but limited. Custom Kingdoms is on. F generating families is on. Same-sex relationships. Uh, doesn't really matter for the late game thing. Uh, and it's dependent on faith. We're gonna we're gonna make weird weird ass faiths here anyway. Um, sexuality, faith acceptance. No, randomized faith. No. Random rule, random rule of placement. No, Hung, uh, Hungarian migration is random. This seems like a fairly good rule set. I'm going to clip this clip for myself and review it when I do my thing. Hydrate. Oh my god, I have to hydrate twice. My best stream. I always wanted to try this game. Well, I hope you like it. That's my hydration. And a dab. Wonderful. Uh, so let's create our own ruler. I'll have to click on the map. I haven't fully decided where I want to start yet with my character. There we go. I don't like it that, the, that there's just like a, because of the white in the background, the contrast is completely changed. So as I as I go for this, apologies, I'm going to I'm going to mess a little bit with the properties of my thing. There we go. Now, now I, I am a bit more clear. Perfect. Uh, so right, we have a large part of the world to choose from. We can make we can have somewhere in the in the Russian steppe. We can have uh, somewhere in modern day Ukraine. We can be somewhere in the Arab world. We can be somewhere in Africa. We even have uh, West Africa, which is is fairly new. Um, um, we have India, we even have parts over here, and thank you Sonic Breath for subbing, hey nice, thank you very much, welcome to the test stream. Um, so I'm going to, for testing purposes, right, well, let's go for Prussia, <laughs> just for, just for complete testing purposes, also because I like the Vihidist faith, and I think that could be funny. Did it, Iron Man enable, yes. 
exclave, all the rules are what we wanted, perfect. So let's go, let's just have Prussia for now. And we're going to be Prussian, we're going to be Videlism, Videlist. And we're going to create our own ruler. Again, we're doing test. I am, I'm, I'm, I am going to make myself, I am bisexual. My name is Mia. Mulder. Let's get some cool. Because this is going to be, again, we're doing a test run, but we're still going to play the game. We're, still, we're not just going to do like the most basic testing. We're going to play the game for a little bit. Um, oh, I like that, a red star and a white background, perfect. I am 27 years old, and I'm very, oh, I thought it was height. Uh, I, am, I am fairly skinny, actually. I have, I have an education <laughs> as a thinker, but I'm not very good at it. Uh, I am, I'm ambitious. I, yeah, I don't know what I am. I'd like to think that I'm just, but I'm not sure. I'm definitely not gregarious. I'm, I am shy, let's have shy. And I'm, I'm almost definitely impatient, but I don't want to be impatient. I don't want the character to be, to be impatient. Uh, greedy, for sure. And what else am I? And other, other things. Am I melancholic? I am a little melancholic. I I mean, I have a university degree, but I don't feel that makes me a scholar. Am I a seducer? A torturer, perhaps? I like to think that I am comely. I'm not necessarily beautiful, but I, 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 I am a bit pretty, I think. Um, am I shrewd? I'm not shrewd. Am I inbred? I'm not inbred. Do I have the blood of Mah of the prophet? I do not. I'm not a Varagnian, a berserker. I am a bastard, but might play the game hard. I'm a peasant leader. Oh fuck it. Let's yeah, fuck it. Let's go for peasant leader. Am I August? No important tribal, no period OP, feudal circumvent for harder runs, don't know about current patches. I have no idea how the current patch is. Trans people in my medieval realistic simulation? It's more likely than you think. It's true. Legitimized bastard. It's true. That's true. I can be a legitimized bastard. Let's have the sickle, because, of course. Because uh, it's funny. Let's increase our stats a little bit, because this is awful. Let's not have me married. Let's have one daughter. That's an heir. It's going to take a lot. My, my stats are like the worst because these things are taking a lot of a lot of stuff um oh and achievements are no longer available i do want to have achievements available because i think it would be funny oh wait uh change appearance we haven't done appearance i am northern that's perfect that's me right there uh da, 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 da. height very high I have no titties to speak of. Uh, head height. I do have a long head. I do have a... No, I don't have much of a profile at all. Uh, I have a bit of a height. Okay. Ears. I have small ears. And, uh, let's remove the hair so we can see you. And, uh, what we're working with. Um... I do have ears to stick out a little bit. Such a mess you. Listen. Listen. I can do what I want. Chic definition. This is a bit much. Chic fat. Oh. Oh. Chin detail. I do have a bit of a cleft. Like a little bit. You know what? Uh, okay, let's go for this. Let's 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 have this for now. It's not perfect, but uh, it's okay. Can I copy DNA? No, I cannot. 
finish appearance. Uh, I'm done. This is my character. Good enough, I think. I have a daughter. I have... I have no skills. I'm not married. I'm a, I'm a bit pretty. I'm a shy, greedy, ambitious thinker. A legitimized bastard and peasant leader. Um, of this fake house of Mulder. Perfect. Yes! Is the game stuttering? Oh, it, I hope not. So, let, uh, if there's something wrong with the, with the, what's it called? The, um, Prusitlusi, thank you. Uh, let me know if, if the quality is like, fuck you a little bit, and I'll, I'll mess with the stream settings, so everything, everything works fine. But I, I hope it's not stuttering too much. Um, okay, so grand history test save. All right, we're playing, we're playing the game. High chief is me of Prussia, Mulder. What do I have? I have two titles. Oh my God, it's been sold. Now I, I'm realizing now that I don't know how to play the game. I've completely forgotten how to play this game. First of all, let's get married to, let's not have people with bad genetics if we can avoid it. No one likes me. Because I'm a peasant leader and shy. People don't like that. Okay. Some of all skills. Who is the best? Hol Holmgeri? Seems good, but he hates me. Let's have Rodislav. He seems fun. Rodislav, be my husband. And... Let's do... Let's, let's, let's hang out here in the theology department. So maybe we can like, um, maybe we can reform our religion. Because if I remember correctly, our religion is not very big. No, it's not, it's very small. Uh, but we do have one of the more fun religions, which involves us, uh, what's it called? We have sanctity of nature. Uh, we like being clean. We wash our hands. Cleansed and prepared in order to help with childbirth, which means that mothers are less likely to die in childbirth and children are more likely to be healthy, which is great. We love that. Ancestor worship, we love that. And sanctity of nature, we love that. I have no idea how any of this would translate into E4, like at all. I'm guessing the converter must account for this and it's an experienced team that does this, but I have no idea how to, how that would work. I'm also going to increase the volume of the game a little bit because I think it's a kind of quiet. I want you to deadlift here. Okay, so that's the religion. We have Prussian culture. I am the culture head. We love to see it. The House of Mulder is doing great. Maybe I control these two provinces. And I am tribal. Which means that I do not have. Um, what is this? Oh, they changed how this looks. That is interesting. Again, it's been ages since I played. We are we're tribal. We are not feudal. We haven't discovered castles yet. We don't know what castles are, uh, but hopefully one day soon we'll find out. We have forest wardens. Our ancestors live in this forest for generations, but now they're fighting under threat from outsiders. Centuries of accumulated experience fighting in forests will help us will aid us in protecting our ancestral homeland. Interesting. I need my daughter. I have a daughter. I forgot. Dagas. I will educate you myself. I am not endorsed by my by my priests. How do I check that? Again. I'm testing this is for, for testing purposes i need to know how any of this works and it's been so long 
Alright, I can find a new kingdom. I can gain weight. What? I'm malnourished. Oh, because I did the thing in the weight. Oh my god, that's so interesting. Uh, okay. Bring the butter. Let's, okay, let's focus on... I don't have any, any blood. Okay, maybe not, go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, let's focus on, like, reforming our religion, like, consolidating ourselves as, like, a small kingdom over here. Uh, we have two vassals. Kugis and Gurainas. He's very Midas touched even, which is probably explains why he's my steward. And he is a bargainer, which why which is why he's my uh, chancellor. Okay, let's let's play the game, I guess. Uh, faction. Why does he have so many more troops than me? I think something's wrong with the calculation. Let's get we have some honor, so let's get some horsemen. And let's get some really good bowmen. Can I not do that? Yeah, there we go. Let's get horsemen as well. And let's get some light footmen, because that's just all good to have. And finish out with some pikemen. Those are going to be our men at arms. I, Rodislav, gladly accept your hand in marriage. Thank you, husband. Can I make you convert to my religion? No. Can I befriend you? I can become. Sl uh. I'm never gonna be able to pronounce that. But let's. I'm shy, so I can't befriend my own husband. Okay. We're doing great. First of all, let's lower the volume a little bit again, because it is kind of loud for me. Background music is good, but that's all I want. Okay, back. Hi, Mia, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm having a good time. My, my channel has been, like, growing super well the last month. Uh, so I'm extraordinarily happy about that. My daughter has been asking me for a spinning top for a long time. Uh, well, content content is a good it's a good trait to have. People like content rulers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you with there. You have a lot of troops, my guy. And I don't like that. In fact you have too many holdings even. You're you're too big. So let's see if I can maybe expand my own holdings a little bit. 500 and I have a thousand So let's uh, let's just take Let's just go to war quick war quick war to uh, increase our own coastline and to Make uh, to consolidate some power My priest yeah, my priest. Uh, want a book? Want a book? I don't care about books. I'm at war. We're gaining a lot of piety though, which is nice. Let's start out with. Hey, thank you, Caesar Serpent, for something. You're not to like. No, you're not to like. We're still in the first game of this testing thing. We're going to play again for a little bit until I get bored of this game. And then we're going to convert this to European results for probably not at 1444 because that's going to be super late. But what will happen is what I'm hoping is it's going to just like catapult the age up. So I'm hope so what I'm what I'm hoping is that maybe I play until I reform until I can embrace feudalism. And when I am feudal, I'll move on to EU4 because then then I'll have feudalism there, there too. I would prefer to have feudalism in the Europe Universalis too as well, uh, for as well. Um, so let's just kick up the speed a little bit. I'm doing theology focus. 
They're banging their shields. It's quiet. We're doing great. What a what a lovely intense game this is. Okay, let's let's save some folks. Break the siege. Oh, they changed the combat thing here. Oh my god. Six in your favor. Huh. Again, it's been far too long since I played this game. Oh, and we already won the war. Great. Enforce them. Thank you. Disband. Let's send our sheriff. Or Marshall, or whatever his name is, to go and do that. Also, can I change the UI scale to 110? Law, oh, it's much better. Okay, because we have low control over this area. We have control here, we have control here. Popular opinion for me is like very high because I am a peasant leader, so I'm guessing peasants are like, yay, one of us. But that's gonna go away very quickly i think as my child uh starts doing things how does inheritance work in my country realm succession confederate partition not great male preference not great we're gonna fix all of that we are going to try to make some sort of matriarchal system here and i just because i want to see if it if it if it translates into europe universalis Four. I don't think it will, but I'm curious to see if it if it will. Stop raiding my shit. Uh, now where are the holy sites for my religion? There's one down here in Chelmino. Can I get that for myself? Chelmino. I can in terms of troops, but I don't have enough glory. But I had, I do have a bit of more gold now, so let's. Go for hunt. Reduce the stress. Maybe get us more some prestige that we need to do anything. And I might die. <laughs> We're after great. We crest a hill and a big heart. Well, I'm gonna fight. I slay the beast. Perfect. I didn't die. I return home, reinvigorated, and I will use the glory from my that I got from that to act to conquer Chelmo. So let's do that. It's also its capital, which is very practical for me. Let's let us meet in the field of battle. Oh, this is new. So you can have ancestor, Prussian, or thing. But now I have a son, which is going to take my heir, become my heir. Uh, chat, what should what should we do? Also, what's happening? The social is so large, the huge. The alternate timeline will be like a phantom time hypothesis is true. You think I'm streaming more on Twitch? Yes, I'm definitely streaming more on Twitch. Do you have a mod? Uh, it's a mod that does this. Eight months of ACRT. Hey! Nice. Congratulations, I hope it goes great. And it's very much true, like at eight eight months is when you really start seeing change kick in. Kiss your son. No. Privately. Nice, nice, nice. Mayo though. Mayo Mayo Mulder. That was the first name that came up in the list, so that's the name that's gonna become. I will probably win this. Perfect. So let's siege out his home. I think I'll be able to siege this out before he sieges out my vassal. At which point, I think that that will be enough for me to win. Also remember, this is Prussia before Prussia has became no modern Prussia. This is Prussia in the age of like pre-Germanic Prussia. Okay. Your wards become 
uh, get additional skills. Culture fascination process. Yes, let's get that because we want we we want um, feudalism as quick as possible. And me being a scientifically minded ruler wishes to embrace these new things as much as possible. Am I still malnourished? No, I'm 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 doing fine. The age of the world. Uh, I've been studying, they all seem to agree that the world will end in 6,000 years after its creation, which is less than a century away. Oh my god. I can't believe this that this is true. Is this true for me? Uh, leave it to the elders and avoid panic. Sure, I'll do that. And he managed to, to, to scope that out before me, huh? Huh. It's okay. I'll kick his ass. Nice. Disband our armies. And what about, how about, can I give my, my child? No, I can't because we, we live in a shitty society. Can I give my husband a title that will then be inherited by... Primary heir, Mayo, my son, our son, I guess. Yeah, okay, so that, yeah, because he's still married to me, so. And I have an alliance with him because he's my husband. Perfect. That is one holy site uh, dealt with. We need at least two more, I think, before we can reform our religion. Yes, we need three, okay. So just expanding up and up here, I guess. Yeah. But you have too many troops. You have a lot of troops. I'm wondering if it's possible for me to just conquer like the very like bare necessities of what I need. It could be, could be, could be. Is Rana? area yes it is all right so let's travel halfway across the world and conquer what's that rana brusha <laughs> baltic prussia how do you think germany would have been different post unification if austria had been included from the start uh, oh, if if we go like legitimately like Gross, Gross, Gross Deutschland instead of Klein Deutschland, um, well, I don't think the First World War would have happened because the First World War really started out because of like Austria because of Austria doing its own thing. Um, so, in one way, that would be a good thing <laughs> if Gross Deutschland had happened. But on the other hand, like. Our, our, our world war would eventually have happened, but that's just how things go, unfortunately. I stare at the stars. Uh, we're doing a test, so I'm not going to read all of it. I need I need piety. Whatever gives me the most piety is what I'm happy with. I've taken a valuable hostage. Perfect. So if I take this... I just need one more, then maybe I can like snipe from someone else without actually conquering too much land. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Does he have allies? Or are other people also like invested in this fight for some reason? What? So confused. Spouse, grow fonder. I can become. What? I'm serving Bay. May. Oh, oh. So Mayo should become friends with with other people. My son and heir will do fine on his own. He doesn't need shit. 
Okay, so that worked. We have a small colony in the east, in the west, sorry. Uh, and let's give this one to my husband again. Why not? I'll sort out... I'll sort out the details after this. This is great. Okay. So, that's two holy sites that I have. Oh, oh my god, I'm so, I'm a clown. My husband isn't, uh, well, he might be. Do you want to become Vigilist? Greetings, Melwege. You better not reveal a secret. My faith is too strong. Can I send you a gift, perhaps? Will that maybe help? That will also stress me out because I'm greedy. Oh my, I can never make friends. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna sway and then like hunt or something. Hopefully that will... Yeah, let's go for a pilgrimage. That, that's sure to calm me down. Uh, pilgrimage. That's fine. All I want to do is make sure that my husband, like, converts to my religion. I can't do that until, like, 15 years. Ugh. I don't, need to, I don't need to promote culture, because we're all, we're all cultures here. Aren't we? Yeah, Prussian. I control all Prussian territory in the world. Perfect. So Prussians live in Prussia. Um, so we have one here, one here, and one here. It's Courland. Courland would probably be the easiest one to like snipe a province from, right? And that would be Semigallians. But they have an ally, which isn't great. Uh, can I take something from them? I can. But they also have allies. Oh, they're all allied just to each other. Freaking nerds. Who are you allied to? You're also allied. Oh my god, everyone's allied. Good day. I'm not gonna smoke. Hey, Dagas! Oh my god, good lord, Dagas! You're very smart. Grey eminence. Very uh, well educated. Let's, let's get you... Let's get you married. No one in the world wants to marry my daughter. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> Raiders. Don't have, really have enough stuff for buildings. I do kind of miss the uh, a gained red. I don't know. I don't want to stress people out. I accept gifts. Um, my son is curious. Perfect. Uh, I do kind of miss the the building system from, from Crusader Kings 2. I just feel like it had a lot more vari variety in my in my opinion. Let's let's bump up the speed a little bit because I do want to. I do I do one day want to reach um, 
the um, 2000, 1700. They have more than me, even. Is there, and there's no other holy sites. There, this, this them three. Damn. They're allied. They're allied. Okay. What if I murder him? <laughs> If I murder him, his alliances should break, right? So let's support some schemes. My own schemes. Very small success chance. Can be convinced. Let's bribe him. Bribing people causes me stress because I'm greedy and I don't like doing it. Oh my god. Sure, I become reclusive. Why not? I forgot how this, I forgot how the stress mechanic works in this game. So what does that do? It lowers my diplomacy and stewardship, but increases my my stress loss. Okay. I have been overwhelmed by stress. Perfect. And someone attract uh, declared war on me. What? I'm Sam for Zambia. Oh my god. I can't. I don't have enough prestige. Darn. When they join forces, I'm not. There's no way I'm gonna be able to to beat that, unfortunately. Hmm. Not really the people that I wanted to fight, but okay. You know what? Let's. Let's keep it here. Uh, I, 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 ha I have lost sight of, of the purpose of this. We are going to have grand history test. And we're going to try to convert that game. I want to see what happens. So what do I do? Also, I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can show you this, but I, I don't think that there is. Unless I do this. Convert your front end. All right. Documents directory. I have no idea what any of this means. It's by the cause of Omega. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not really going to be the, the most entertaining stream in the world, but... Okay, for... for well, oh. I'm going to do that for sake of, pri for sake of my own privacy, because I don't know uh, the full extent of my... of my thing. What am I looking for now? Crusader Kings 3 directory. The E4 mod directory. No. E4 mod directory. New operating results for mod. Crusader Kings 3 save game. Save game. Grand history test. All right. Splits large vessels into E4 vassal states. Yeah, 
development, shattering empires. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and okay, so grand strat test. Again, we're doing testing here. Like I, that's also the reason why I kind of quit playing. Cause like if I if I get bogged down in actually playing the game, I'm never actually going to test the game. Okay, so what's happening now is I am converting the game. I have done, I'm, I'm doing converting the game. So, <laughs> I can't believe 73 people are watching me do back and work. I want like I have no idea how the how the converter works, which is why I'm testing. By the way, like if this means that my Prussia or whatever is at war and there's a tribal nation or whatever, uh, that just means that just means that we'll we'll deal with that because the the idea is that it's done to a one hundred and nine percent, which is it's great. So that should already be a mod then, right? So let's play e four. Let's not look at my games too much. Right. So manage play set. I have too many mods. Is what this is telling me. Two new mods. Sure. Add to current play set. I don't know what that means. We have A to Z. Wish I could find it. Do I have to add? Aha! Let's turn off historical colonization. Convert the strat game is on. Turn off everything else. So just the one mod. Great. And that is what's happening right now, right? I have I have the one mod enabled. Initial playset converted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works. Right. Well, this is going great. Let's see if I can. Something along like this. I can hear the music. Oh, hello. All right. All right. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Prussia. Pressure's still there, and we're not at war, so we cheated our way out of, out of that war. Uh, we are a uh, tribal <laughs> chief, this Mia Mulder, she's still there, 33 years old. Nice. With air, Mayo Mulder. <laughs> we're remover, sick. Uh, religions, I want to see, oh, Slavic, Uralic, I don't even know what that is, Tengri, Turinism. This rules, okay. Uh, first of all, a lot more flavor in Africa than uh, the normal E4 game, which I love, by the way. So it's not just like two things. 
Oh, good Jesus Christ, the Asturias, East Francia. East Francia is just huge. Uh, West Francia is just France, also huge. Uh, has a personal union with Aquitaine. <laughs> I have no idea how they calculate personal unions and stuff. East Sax is under a personal union of Wessex, sure. Wessex has like personal unions with like three other people for some reason, I don't know why. So it's 1444. Can we check government type? Like development. Oh, because we haven't had like a thought almost like we have. Ha normally, you're supposed to have like 600 years of like cities building up slowly over time and building. Now it's just like nothing. Oh, it's all trash. America, like America, is doing great at this point. America should love this. Why does America look like this though? What? <laughs> ha um. I'm guessing I had High American uh, Focus Tree on, or the in the converter, because the ink. Oh my God. They're high American. They're all high American. <laughs> so, um, or, okay. The rest of the world looks okay ish. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, ideas though. Let's look at ideas. So first of all, uh, Bulgaria gets, gets Bulgaria ideas. The whole uh, the I I put it in the settings so that the Byzantine Empire would be split up, which means that we no longer have. So the Emperor Basilius Macedon is now of just this little tiny little area over here. These two in Constantinople. The rest of the empire is completely borked. Uh, <laughs> cause you can do that, and I and I appreciate that they can do that. What happened to Anatoly? <laughs> ah! Oh, I love this. Well, so what is what is this? What? what okay, so um, the Magyar are hung is Hungary. That makes sense. Uh, we have uh, we have a lot of Jewish faiths here. Very good. Uh, great Sultan. So the, uh, Arabia, because that's Arabia, I'm guessing. So they have Greek ideas in Greece. Bulgaria has Bulgarian ideas. So Ep Epicurus, because they have their own. Crete is Berber, so they get Berber ideas. Arabian ideas. Berber ideas. The Umayyads get Andalusian ideas, which I guess makes sense, which means they get a colonist. Asturian get Astur Asturian ideas. Catalan? Oh my god, I had no idea these existed. French Dussel ideas, okay. Breton ideas, that's good. It's good, it's good that, that that's happening. French ideas make sense. Um, most of these people just get national ideas, which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. Uh, European tribal ideas. Uh, Opland gets Swedish ideas, but uh, Shetland does not get Danish, so get, get borked. Gotham has his own ideas. My god. Finland has his own ideas. Gardariki gets Novgorod ideas. That's very interesting. Do we have Horde ideas? Okay. Do, is, do we have Russian ideas anywhere? Permian ideas. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's let's dive into this and just do um, mega game test for E4. I dropped the East Roman Empire and it collapsed. <sighs> 
So, first of all, institutions. I do not have feudalism yet. <laughs> yeah, because only the areas that have feudalism have feudalism. That's cool as hell. So, India has feudalism, which makes sense, but most areas of the world don't have feudalism at all. Right. I can reform. I can still reform the religion. Huh? By owning the... So by all owning cores, first of all, let's see, did, did everything translate well? I do own this, but now this is the holy site. Okay, so I still, so holy sites are, are introduced as well. I can still reform. So I've become reformed remover. And that becomes a new thing. So it's a 75% chance in every province that it will become reformed, but it can become something else. I get more development in all of my areas. Okay. Well, these missions aren't going to be very useful. <laughs> there is no Ansbach. Well, I guess there is. I guess the province of Ansbach still exists. So, okay. So I can reclaim these two provinces that I've never had. So I, I can still do missions. Theoretically, this means that nations, that more nations can be created. How are things looking in terms of like cores for, for the entire world? They have claims. Why do you have claims anywhere? For what reason do you have claims? Asturias has Reconquista events. Navarra has... Oh my god. Can this Holy Roman Empire work? Religious peace. Orthodox is the dominant faith in the Holy Roman Empire. They have three cities. And 35 princes. Like, this is a viable Holy Roman Empire. Okay, what does my religion do? Fort maintenance and tolerance of the true faith. I wonder if that would change. Uh, okay, what else? What else am I thinking about? Well, obviously I'm... Oh my god. Liebeck exists. Independently. Eventually, I'm going to have to do a, like, a more proper test of this, where I actually like play the game for a significant amount of time. I start with a small army and a small navy. Cool. English Channel is a bit of a stretch, since England doesn't exist. Um... Apparently, I'm, a, I'm an expansionist. And Mayo is cruel. <laughs> I have brought this up too. It's my prince. Oh my god. Is it age? Religion? Culture? All of that translates? That's cool as hell. Uh, cultural map is... Yeah. It's translates fairly well. Sure. Yeah, because Greece hasn't had the Ottomans didn't push it back the Greeks because obviously we haven't done that yet. All right. Okay. Well, um, I would say that that's a successful test. The patriarch, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, what did you say? What, what? The patriarch of Vienna? <laughs> King Karlman Karling. What are the great powers in the world? Aztec, Inca, Ming. Uh, West Frank is number six. 
But, like, Aztec is so far... The Aztecs are going to conquer the world at this point. How interesting, though, that I, I, I can see Africa. I can see Africa. I'm guessing that's because, like, this is the part of the world that I can see in Crusader Kings. Normally, you wouldn't have vision on all, all, all of this in European Rosales. Okay. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to exit the game. I may I may do this a couple of times, like in a row, by the way. And I may I'm I might do a more real playthrough, again as a test before the big charity thing, uh, on on some occasion. But now we have a save file in, in E4 that works, and it works fine. We love it. It's it's great. So now we need the EU4 to Victoria 2 converter. Oh, and since no one's like since not development hasn't gone up anywhere, no there's not gonna be like any factories or anything. Division think an update. Okay, interesting that that actually happens. Right, so Workshop, I think. Victoria 2. EU4 to Vic2. Yes, this is what I want. Subscribe. Thank you. A download link that I'm going to download. Yes, a zip file. Right. I'm so nervous. Like I, I don't really do technology that much, so I'm like. So this is EU4 to Vic two. I I. I might actually do a full game, like, uh, today. Like, I may do, like, an overly simplified, super quick game. Because um, I am curious to see how this would go. Hey, thank you that Friday for subscribing. Uh, for five months, I need to do long-term rewards. Switch tags on E4 and the vision is all screwy. It's fine after a month. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Then, um, okay, then that works. So what, what I'm planning here, then, is next time around because i'm converting all of the games right just to see if it just to see if it works um i'm gonna convert all of the games to see if i need to like screw with versions or anything um and from there i'm going to no cancel 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 Yeah, so next time maybe I'll play... Next time maybe I'll play like an actual game of Crusader Kings 2 for like an hour and play European Universalis for an hour, like advance a little bit, get some institutions, build up some development, and then go and then take that into Victoria 2. Um, like we're, we're, we're starting super basic here because I'm, I'm, I'm baby. Europa Universalis for documents. E4, yes, thank you. Victoria 2 documents. Yes. I am I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm going to show you this. So, so you can see how it looks on, on my end. The path to E4 save game. EU4 Save games Right 
Okay, mounts. I have nothing here. Oh my god. Mm. This is interesting. Drop course of dead nations. This I don't think this is gonna be super relevant. But I'm gonna leave it because I think it could be funny. Um, turn colonial nations into territories. Sometimes by attitude, that could be interesting. Or puppets. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at default because I don't wanna mess with that. I'll do I'll do a little bit more experimentation on my own end. If sometimes from previous question, what what is up? Absorb loyal, absorb disloyal, absorb rebellions. Oh no, fuck that. Should population be shaped to EU four advances? Sure. Adjust population size. <laughs> Europe is gonna be like a hellhole. Shaping factor. No clue what that means. How much? How much does shaping affect population size? Zero vanilla, 100 fully, and it's defaulted to 100, okay. Auto assign national cores for nationalities and cultural unions. Can be an issue for CK2 or flat dev imports. Sure. Make the world Eurocentric. It's imperialism time, or use E4 institutions. Likely all nations civilized. I have a mod that's gonna fix that, by the way. Um. So like if you use this, a big problem is that like basically the entire world after you play EU4 for enough time is going to like be enough technologically developed. Like the, at the end of the game, everyone will have caught up. So if you play Victoria 2, then there's then everything's just caught up immediately and like there's no technological development for most of the world, which kind of messes with it. So for the purposes of this. Because we only have feudalism. <laughs> I think it's fine using EU4 institutions, because they ha we don't have any institutions yet. Wipe Sub-Saharan Africa. Don't touch Wakanda. Randomize RGOs. Uh, no, let's not do that. I don't know what that means. Any religious cultural conversion... Um, what? All upper strata... Plus 50% of middle strata uh, are religiously and cultural con converted. We can convert everyone in the cross, but this will have negative effects on gameplay. Assimilation hotspot crisis. Do not change unless you know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Okay, so. Grand. Test. Sure. Convert. Convert. As is Europe is more already had a whole. Listen, it's all it's already completely messed up, but you know we can't. Let's just delete it. And then I have to. Is it going to? Well, I'm guessing it's going to already do that. Could not find mod. Grand test dot mod. That's not great. Well, this is making the mod. Converting. Copying the mod. No country is able to accept. Warning, no cultures are able to accept factories. <laughs> What's the state of tech in this world? <laughs> okay, fair. Maybe you're not supposed to like do it from 800 in the Victorian age. Okay, let's try it and see if it works. <laughs> uh, okay, can I have documentation? Read me. Copy the folder into your not use it. Start with the download. Download. Copy your E4 save into the converted directory. I did that, I think. Edit conversion sample game installs, set up any care about, drop the text. Seventeen four. I did that. Output folder in some folder. I done. Okay, so what do I need to do?
workshop directory, mod directory. It's all in documents. Right. So why doesn't that work? Let's just have everything be everything that's like recommended the way it was. Maybe that'll help. Okay. I'm not a gamer enough to understand this. I have no idea what this is, by the way. None at all. I have no clue what I'm doing. Again, what's the state of tech? Everything here sucks. <laughs> no one in the world has a factory. Like, what are you, what are you going to do? The, there's not going to be an economy here. Could not find mod EU4 to VIC2 outpost. Okay, but if I, what if I remove the mod output mode entirely and just make it do whatever it wants? And baby, I don't know how to do this. going to give me shit about the technology what I might do is I might restart and do like a grand playthrough for real like with a late starting date in um, in Crusader Kings so we save time on that and then I move on like I play fairly quickly maybe like I, I play tall so I don't have to like do a lot of wars and expand and shit Oh, we're good? Oh, we're good! Oh, hell yeah! We're good, folks. We're in the business. Apparently, that's the missing thing. Uh, right, so... How do I play this now? Where is my game? Mega game test dot mod. Yes, it is in there. I can see it. But I cannot see it in in, in the other thing. It doesn't show up in the directory of the mod. <laughs> Are you gonna end up accidentally doing the make zoom twice because you're like, testing too seriously? Yes! Yes, I am! Are you doing test games this weekend or are you just planning out the route? I'm doing, I'm testing games, yes. And I'm, I, I am, I'm doing a bit of both. I'm testing just to see if I did. Uh, and I found it. It, it, I found the converted part. So let's boot this up. Yes! Let's see this nightmare of a world. And if it works, we have to convert this to Hearts of Iron. <laughs> Bum 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 bum. I'll show the game very soon when it's when it is time. <laughs> the game is loaded up. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -ba. I played too much Victoria too. Oh, it's oh, it's chugging. Oh, it's struggling. Oh, it's oh, it's me. it needs to interpret this like nightmare world we have created, where t where the world stopped d developing at like eight ninety two. Oh my god. Right. Uh, let's see if I can if I can show you now. Everything should be fine. <laughs> mm 
Victoria Tyrrell. Please don't crash. Come on. Come on. If it's... Oh, come on. It might crash. Oh, it's Steam Refro... Okay, fine. I'll change it to... What can I change it to? Because I'm, I'm switching between games. I'm just going to change it just to chatting. Because we are, we are just chatting. No small talk. Are we terrible at small talk? Listen! I'm sorry. Okay, um, okay, I need to. I need to, I need to destroy Victoria too in the, um, in the, oh my god. The, uh. Okay, nice, I didn't have to stop the stream. <laughs> Streaming Victoria 2 is like a nightmare because it may or may not destroy your computer. Uh, like, why do you stream it? Can I, can I try to play it again, please? Hello? I would like to play my video game. Thank you. So converted mega game test. Playing again. It's Crusader Kings 3 just played with a different engine. I mean, you're not wrong. A very, a very, very different engine though, should be said. Music is blaring in my ears. I'm hoping to change that soon. Uh, okay, I can't see my my game right now, so I have to rely on you helping me. Can you see the video game, or can you just see a small face of me in the corner? It's gonna be a beautiful disaster when I try to do the full Because when I try to do the full version, I've probably been playing. By the time I do this translation, I have to do this for Black Screen and me in the corner. That's not great. Um, still. My God! Popped up. There's game. Oh, there's game. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> it's 1444. Uh, first of all, um, my my Lord Jesus Christ. The Maya are number seventh great power. The Aztec are th the third. The Inca are fifth. Which is not to be, which is to be expected. Africa got wiped off the face of the earth, um, except for Kano and Takeda. Very small provinces. Uh, you can fix this in in the settings, by the way. Uh, the default is just doing this. My lord, Arabia. Everything. There's so many, so many things are occupied here, by the way. So many things are occupied. The Ming Empire is as it is. Japan is united for some reason. Uh, they got that. Korea, no change from the base game. <laughs> All right. So the, the German Empire. Oh God Almighty. Italy is huge. Prussia exists, as does the German Empire, by the way, which is what I'm finding hilarious. Okay, uh, I mean, I don't, I... Uh, can't remember, oh god. Ice, Iceland, sure. See! <laughs> See when the screen's cropped? Oh no. 
That's unfortunate. I'll fix that. Something with a resolution. I apologize for this. Um. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see if I can fix this without the game, cr without it crashing entirely. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry that I'm completely incompetent at streaming these games. It's it's because of the resolution like change a little bit. Uh, and there we go. No, you should see it. <sighs> okay. Secret of Denmark. Music is a little bit loud. I'm not surprised. Uh, I'm gonna change it in the game because this game. Uh, if I tap out of this game again, it might kill me. I'm just gonna drop that. Like two thirds. All right. So, I mean, there's no better one to play than let's just play as the German Empire, or let's. <laughs> Um, Jorvik is a secondary power. There's a million people living in it. I mean, most of these people don't. I mean, most of these countries usually have like millions and millions of people living in them. And now they really don't. I mean, the German Empire has a has an adult population of three million people. It's not really. It's not really what it's. Sweden is civilized, but it's so far down the ranking. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, Scotland exists, which is, you'd love to see it. Let's play, we don't have rulers anymore, so I'm gone. I'm just completely deleted. Every single nation on earth has an absolute monarchy, like every single one, because um, that's the game, unless Venice exists, which is a constitutional republic. I cannot use map modes in the screen, but what I will do is I'm going to go to culture. <laughs> I'm going to play. Let's play. Let's play Jorvik. See what happens. Secret Denmark. Oh my god. Secret Denmark. <laughs> so I don't have cores on Carlisle. Sure. The United Kingdom has cores on everything, but the United Kingdom doesn't exist. Wales? Excuse me? Wales? <laughs> oh, because it's a cultural union. Oh my god. So all of this... So Wales... Wales has cores in Glasgow. Okay. Sure. Um... <laughs> Nas let's look at nationalities for a bit. Oh my god. I don't... I... Okay. The Jorvik seat of San Dominic. Okay. We have post colonialism. The US, which means that Quebec, Newfoundland, the USA will gain cores and everything. That sounds like fun. I can create Scandinavia because I am Jorvik. And my pop. My. Oh my god. Oh, I have religion too! What? Population, Anglo-Saxon, religions, animus. That's something that doesn't show up in the base game. The great powers are the Aztec, sure. The Inca, France, the German Empire, the Maya, uh, Italy, Cheyenne, and Burgess. But they're not going to be there very, for very long. Uh, <laughs> Athens is number 11, sure. Syracuse is number 8. Vinlander. That what the fuck is Vinlander? Oh my god! Oh what? Oh my! So it's taken the cultural, like the culture from like Sumesco, like that cultural cultural group, and made it Finnish. Cause that makes sense. Cause Russia hasn't like got up here. 
Russia doesn't even Russia hasn't spread from like these couple of provinces because we have like Ugrian here now. My God, Yakut. My Jesus. Arabia is a partially westernized nation because this game is uh, as is Andalusia because again Eurocentrism. The Aztec is the greatest power in the his in the world, which makes sense. Can I make a factory? I cannot. What technology exists? Mm, not a lot. Not a lot. We, I I don't have any naval. Europe doesn't have any naval. Uh, I want to play this for a bit to see how this... Oh my god. Can we... Can we somehow... No, we can't because we're not... My cult... Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So my, my cultural union is Scandinavia, which covers half of Russia. Okay. The Aztecs don't have cores over half their land. Okay. The Maya has cores over over Cuba, but not over there. Okay. The Inca. Sure. The German Empire has some cores over Bavaria and parts of France, so we might still get World War One. The Netherlands is not French. Only only French only the French parts is French. They have cores over all of France. Asturias. My God. Italy has course over parts of Italy, but not all of it. Sure. The Greeks don't have a cultural union at all. It doesn't exist. Bulgaria can probably form a huge Yugoslavia. My, oh my god. There's a country called East of Deserts. I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> oh my god! When I have to do, when I have to do this like as a real thing, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Naged. The papal states is a, is a, it's no change. That's just that's just how the papal states is. The papal states it usually just controls like this parts as well, and that's it. Oh my god. Dalmatia. And he missed. There, there, there is no religion map mode here, like at all. So that's not really gonna happen. Is there migration anywhere? Let's 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 play. The year is fourteen forty four. I'll keep playing as Jorvik, thank you very much. Uh, I ha I can do nothing until 1825! <laughs> okay, so you're only really supposed to convert at the end of every game, which makes sense. You're not really supposed to play these games <laughs> from the beginning. Okay. Right. Just, can I make a factory of any kind? I cannot. Because I'm guessing I don't have the technology or the money for it. Alright. What else is interesting to look at? So like fire. Hungary, uh, obviously Hungary has no no cores over Hungary because Hungary d doesn't have... They never traveled here, so they never... they don't care. Uh, Slovak are more southerner than, than they usually are because they never got moved up. Um, my god, North German and South German are things. The Sorbians were never eradicated. Pomeranians and Prussians weren't incorporated into North German because they're animus, I think. Uh, the, ne the Dutch still exists. The Wallonians, the Flemish, they all got cultures. I think that's so interesting. Uh, the Bretons, the Welsh. Why? <laughs> One thing that I don't, I'm not super sure. Why is why is Wales so big? 
I wonder if I can play. I wonder if I can unite Wales. Because I'm, I'm an invader here as Jorvik, right? I can't unite Great Britain. And hang on. Wait. Hang on. The Aztecs have renamed themselves. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Victoria 3 confirmed. My god. The German. What? Persistent. Latgalians? I. Okay. So Sweden has cores on parts of Sweden, but not like on in the south because they they aren't. Uh, okay, so one thing that I find interesting is like that I know is is different in the in the base uh, when when you do when you do this for real. It's like the cultures everywhere is a hundred percent whatever they are, right? Oh, except here. How interesting. Yeah, he, here's this like. Some Ashkenazi, some Hungarian. Uh, and the way it's based on that is like how long a province has been any type of culture. What's my screen resolution? It's far too big. I'm going to fix that for when I do my real thing. Uh, it keeps doing that because I'm on a 4K monitor. So um, that doesn't really work. Novogod. Every, and again, every, every, every single nation on earth is an absolute monarchy, which I am assuming... Let's just tax everyone really high for a bit. Reduce our military spending. I just want to see if I can make a factory in 1444. <laughs> uh, Sudrear. Wait, what culture is Sudrear? Because they're only it's only the Isle of Man. They're Icelandic too. Nice. Ireland. My God. Um, the United States has for some Manhattan commune. What? I don't know. I... The Canarias are independent. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, but let's save game. We're done. We're gonna do the final conversion, and then we're then I might, depending on my mood, do a real game. That was a nightmare, and I don't ever want to see it again. Uh, <laughs> now I have to get the Victoria. To, oh my god, Victoria two point four converter. Which I have to get from Steam. So, okay. Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Victoria 2. Cannot find the converter. Great. Converter? No.
Vic 2 to hook 4 converted. Perfect. What's that? Let it, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry. I, I needed a 4K monitor to 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 see what I to see uh the um the uh my editing when I when I make my when I make my garbage videos. Right. So Forty-four. Forty-four. Right. I am currently downloading the Victoria Two to Hearts of Iron Four converter, and then we'll see if this works. If it works, I'm going to be very happy because that means I don't have to do any more of this. So that's Victoria Two to Hearts Four. Again, world. Unchanged, completely unchanged since 824 or whatever the year the year it was. What's after Hearts of Iron 4? After Hearts of Iron 4, um, I won't have to deal with converters anymore. I'm done with that. The only time I would, I'm going to have to use converters is like the main bulk of the game. Uh, after, before and after, I'm going to play other games that can't convert. I'm going to play, I'm, I am eventually going to play Stellaris, but after I do this like mind boggling, like huge world con conquests mega game over the period of over a thousand years of world history, uh, I'm going to play city, city builder games for a little bit until I go into space, at which point I will either, if and depending on how much I want to keep playing, uh, I'll play Kerbal Space Program for the space exploration bit, and then I'll play Stellaris. Or, if I don't want to do any of that, I'll just go directly into Stellaris, and Stellaris will be the final game. But Stellaris, I will, I will eventually play. So, let's see what we can do with this. Don't... stop messing with my files. So, Hearts of Iron Mod Directory. Um, let's get the save. Hey, I save game first. So that's Victoria 2. Make a game test. Save games. And the Orvik. The Heart of Iron Mod Directory. I have no idea what the Mod Directory is. I'm just going to go to Paradox, Heart of Iron 4, Mod. Mod. Oh, and I found a lot of mods here. I. I'm not gonna touch this. Industrial shape factor. I factory factor, manpower factor, force factor. I don't I don't know. Should some course be removed? No, that'll be funny. Create factions, sure. Uh ideologies, they're all gonna be absolutist. Keep major ideologies, sure. Um keep keep all ideologies. Fuck it, why not? Commanders converted. Mod output name. I'm not going to touch that because I messed it up last time. Hello. Welcome. Have you seen Dyson Sphere Program? Could you use that as a kind of hopping hopping point to Stellaris? <laughs> Maybe. I haven't, uh, I haven't played it, but... Uh, I, I don't think it's super my thing. Converted to Heart of Iron Four Million Dollar. I am con I'm considering to I'm considering uh, stealing some mods for this for this mega game that I'm going to incorporate. So like uh, I'm considering using some aspects of Road to Fifty Six uh, from Heart of Iron Four so I can play more into like the fifties. So it kind of goes into better into. Um, Parts of uh, so it goes better into the city builder aspect of it. I'm also going to use some mods for the European Universalis bit of this mega playthrough in order to make. Sh oh my god. Could not find ruling party for est. I don't know what est means. Party ID mismatch. Uh oh. Let's try again. Actually, let's just. 
not keep major ideologies, have everything as the fucking normal ass stuff. So when it when it tries again, like apparently messing with the settings too much kills it, so I don't wanna touch it. In the real version, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's in the real version, communism and fascism and these ideologies would spring up over the course of Victoria too. Hopefully. So that that would be that would be fun. What is Est? It's a country tag. In the Paradox games. Est country tag. Estonia? I guess Estonia. So why is Estonia messing up, messing this up for me? Okay, so this is everything is defaulted. Okay, let's let's try it with everything defaulted. If it doesn't work, I don't really know what to do. I'll have to I'll have to Google up a search. So Victoria two. Hoi four. What was there? Like missing. I just want to see if someone else has encountered the same issue that I have. Frequently asked questions. Party ID mismatch. I don't know what this means. Invalid tags. Oh my god, there's so many countries. Oof. Um, some files not get read. Converter error. Read log.txt first. Okay. Known file. Welcome to super exciting error log screens with me. Oh my god. There we go. Converted mega game test. Like that's why that's why the mod that's why the mod had it. Are you including the EU4 to Vika2 mod? Thank you, yeah, there yeah. I figured it out on my own, but he's also said it, so thank you for, we figured it out. We, we did read it. Also, thanks to Lamsack, because you figured it out way before me. I was like just sitting, just looking at the space, just like, what? What? Uh, but okay. If this works, oh my god, the cl oh my god, it would be so, like, gritty. What would happen to Africa? Because the world isn't fully colonized. And Africa got wiped off the map. Would Africa be no man's land? Or would it be put in some weird faction or something? I don't know. We're 24 though, so we're getting there. Again, if this works, I am going to try, I'm going to try to play the full game, a, a full game today, uh, even though it might. Could not find localization files for French. Uh, neighbor war conquer. <laughs> Don't know what that means. I think because everyone had like 400 castles bellies in war goals, and it was like, nah. The closest countries annexed, maybe, I have no idea. That's why we're doing these tests, so we can, so we can check, so we can check everything, see how it is, and uh, see if it's viable. Also to see if it's fun. I think, it, obviously, you know, the entire stream is like me digging into files and stuff, but the, m the main bulk of the game is going to be like me playing, playing the games, playing the various games and having fun with it. 
So, you know, I think that would be fun. No language category defined for a bunch of countries. But we converted the save and now we're copying the mod. So. Adapt. Could, could this work? 109%. We did it. All right. So let's see if we can get this to actually work. Obviously, when I when I do the stream, I'm going to have like a producer uh, on hand to help me do this, so I can either entertain the stream while these things happen in a more entertaining way, or I can do the work while someone else introduces the stream. So let's see if I can get if I can figure out how to how to enable this mod. What country do I want to play as? In the end, I'm going to... I don't know who I'm going to play as like in the very final version of it. I think I might just play Sweden. Because that's what I am. I might just play like as myself. And then like like from where I was born. Like in, in the early starting date of Crusader Kings. And from there, I might do... Create a mod, yes. Jorvik. I don't know. Create mod. Should be in list of mods. Nice. So, manage playset. Uh, sort from A to Z, yes. So, there it is. Add to current playset. Disable. Jorvik. And play. It's almost... D I, can, I can smell the crash coming up. I can smell it. Can you ask what this is in preparation for? This is in preparation for me doing a mega campaign where I play where I play all of these games in one long sequence of events. And the idea is that I'm going to do that as a, as a charity nightmare stream. Because I've calculated that me playing all of these games in sequence in one long go is going to take me approximately um, like almost a week of constant game time. Uh, not including time oh my god can you not crash now please no god <sighs> we're doing great oh my god Everything is falling apart. Da 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 ba ba. Da do 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 do. Uh, first of all, let's let's do that. Oh my god! Right. This is the only thing I can do. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, but it, it won't allow me to resize this. So, uh, it's going to be in a bit of a little bit of a window, but that's okay, because this is the final one uh, of them all. Like, we're not going to do this for... We'll, we'll, we'll find a way to fix this before the actual streaming scenario. Charity stream another so soon. Well, I haven't really done a charity stream like on my own, uh, so that I think that could work. But I'm thinking I'm doing something for like COVID relief. 
Uh, mm, first of all, uh, this doesn't this doesn't look to be. Okay, that just looks like normal, like the normal game, didn't it? So what's the deal, yo? Right, doing another attempt. That was just normal hearts of iron. I don't fuck with that. Well, I do for achievements and stuff, but it's not what I do. Hadi. So I don't know exactly which kind of charity I want to support, but I, I know that I want to do something for like maybe like homeless support um, or like rent relief help, like things of that nature, like people who have been affected by by people being shitty about COVID. So I have this, Jarvik is enabled. So I want to work. make the grand history the, the grand history as I said let's add the Jorvik maybe this will work and then we hit play all right I think we're onto something are you going to alone play for seven days straight no I'm going to have guests on uh, I'm going to have friends visiting I'm going to have uh, I'm gonna have a skeleton crew thingy, but I'm basically gonna do a sort of, what do you call it, like, like a Donkey Kong stream, but for a much smaller YouTuber who does not, who, who will not be able to be able to drum up enough support for it, and uh, it's going to be less successful, but I also want to do it because I think it would be fun. See now, now I don't, I don't know what this, what, what is, hmm. Cause we're back in the norm, in the, in the vanilla hearts of iron four. Hmm. My girlfriend's in there will be this is a question. Thank you. Uh, were you in the Donkey Kong stream? I was, uh, this, this was before I had a thousand subscribers. I was in the Donkey Kong stream. Uh, now, thankfully I have, uh, I have grown and perhaps I can make them, but I can't get it to work. So I'm going to have to look up how to do it. So, boy four, Vic, oh, I guess, Vic two, boy four converter, converter, mod not working. I'm trying to right I, I'm not the only person who, who has uh... try to move the mod folder 
I had some problem because my mouse roll wasn't there. So I'm going to have that over since we had some problems. Right, right, okay. We may have a solution. This is why we're doing testing. This is why we're testing. We're doing this for to to find to find the problems, you know? We're we're doing this to to know so that when we do it for real, we won't have to waste time doing this. Cause honestly this kind of sucks. <laughs> and um Scooby Dooby Doo. Workshops content generates Okay, I move. I'm cur so I obviously I'm quiet now. So this is a shitty, shitty stream. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm moving the mod from one file directory to another. Uh, so yes. Almost here in Germany on Dane right now because it's a massive snowfall and storms. So weather reach all the way up to Sweden as well. Oh, it for sure does. It's completely snowstormy and it's awful. Which is why I'm kind of hoping to do something. I'm hoping to do something fairly soon. Or are there any gaps in the timeline of the games? If if I decide to completely sabotage what I want to do and play Imperator Rome first, which I don't want to do, but if I decide to go the full uh, the full Monty, so to say, then that is perhaps something that I will have to do. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, and then it will be a bit of a gap between the end of Imperator Rome to the beginnings of uh, Crusader Kings, because there's a there's a there's a big there's a big sort of jump in uh, in, in, in stuff in stuff there. Right. So. Um, okay, so at first I have to find. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, Anders. Everything is like slowing down so much. Um, first, I find for mod, converted mod. Um, what was that? Delete that. <laughs> if you can go from hoi vanilla to hoi vanilla and you can go even longer. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play, I'm going to play some city builder games after Hearts of Iron 4 because in my hope, my goal here is that I'm going to conquer the world in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, because by that point, I don't think that there will be much left on Earth. <laughs> um, after European Renaissance 4, usually, most of the world is divided into like three or four countries basically so those are going to go into victoria 2 and i'm hoping that the world will break up a little bit by victoria 2 and i'm also hoping that there will not be as much blobbing in victoria 2 um and the end of uh, european results for so i'm hoping that 
the world will be but i'm hoping that by the end of victoria 2 the world will be sort of power, have some sort of good power dynamic um and but then by victoria then by the end of part time 4 i'm like whatever faction i play will have conquered most of of the surface of earth uh, and then i'm gonna play a city builder to get us into like a space industrial stage and uh, into the modern day at which point i'll play i might play a uh, kerbal space program with some player goal like uh, own goals in there to simulate space exploration in the in the 60s and 70s uh, and into the modern day as well and then I'm going to play Stellaris, at which point the stream will be over and I will play until I am bored. <laughs> which I'm guessing is going to be like instantly, if I'm completely honest. So how do I add this then? Converted Jorvik. Perfect. We are going to play Converted Jorvik. Let's try again. Last time. Are you organizing that paradox mega campaign thing? Yes, I'm doing testing. I'm testing um, my, I'm testing all of the different things. Crumble crash simulator. Yeah, pretty much. Could also scramble mega campaign something just to play Spore instead. I could, but Spore is bad. I'm I'm playing this because I want to play. I, I actually, here's the thing though, I actually considered, I okay, here's the thing, I have a nightmare, nightmare scenario for this, I have a plan for, still doesn't work, oh, damn it, I can't get into Hearts of Fire 4, what am I missing, what am I missing, why can't I do this? So it's still not working. Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry. The the nightmare nightmare scenario is I play Spore up until the up until the up until the tribal stage, but not including the tribal stage. Uh, at which point I have made humans. Um, and then I'm then I play Dawn of Man or Ancient Cities. I'm not sure. Probably Dawn of Man until the end of that game. And then I play uh, Imperator Rome. Then I play, <laughs> and then I play Crusader Kings two. And then I play E four, Victoria two, Hearts of Iron four. Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, City Skylines, Kerbal Space Program, um, Stellaris, yeah. The idea is that I would play all of those games. Uh, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to, because I don't want to do that. Right, I'm just lead, um, I'm reading the sort of like description. Lead mod.
All right, I'm gonna do one more try, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm gonna give up. <laughs> Once again. That's a backup plank, I said five at the slowest of speeds. Yeah, it gets boring. If there was some kind of save file converter to convert sport creatures into crusader keys to the characters, that would be the best stuff. Oh my god, that would be monstrous. Um, horrifying, but yes. How long are you planning the hypothetical setup to stream? Yeah, a week. In one go. Yeah, in one go. One constant thing. In the, like, that would include me sleeping. Yeah, I am. Um... Um, which is why it's going to become horrific. Okay, grand history. We're playing grand history. Play set. Not the heart of iron test. If it doesn't work, I give up. Um, but yeah, a, a week. Like a nightmare statement. It includes me sleeping. I'm going to be sleeping over there in my bed uh, and put up a skeleton. Just like the Donkey Kong stream. And hopefully some, some cool people will want to come. If not, I'll play for myself and try to beat the world record of longest possible mega campaign. I don't think anyone has ever tried to do this ever, by the way. Ever. It's at least not in one continuous time. Um, so I'm hoping that I will sort of make some waves by, by breaking a breaking a record. Like, because I'm, I'm hoping that will become a world record, either in terms of longest continuous stream, which is probably not going to work, and it still doesn't freaking work. Right, that doesn't work. Why does it not work? But you know what? That's, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't care. I don't, I don't think, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, okay, I've done that. I've streamed for over two hours trying to fix this. So I've, I've tried this. Um, and by that, um, with that said, let's play, let's play some game of some sort. Let's just actually play a video game for a little bit. What would be a fun video game to play? What if I play work with the resources or something? Would people like that? Or some other game? I mean, I could play Crusader Kings 3 and like get started on the um, on the like m more realistic test scenario, but You could uh, sleep and someone else could continue the game while you were asleep. Yeah, that would probably be the more ideal scenario. I don't know how that would work though. I don't know how that would be done in a in a good way. What if Crusader Kings 3? Oh! I don't really like Crusader Kings 3 if I'm completely honest. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's an interesting game. Uh, and I think that the converter adds like a lot, like weirdly a lot of flavor, by the way. I, I didn't, con um, I wasn't actually that convinced. I thought it would just like get the map basically and do it over. But like it has like post-colonialism and, and stuff like that, which is like super interesting because I had no idea that that would happen. Um, but I think that's super cool and I, it would be very interesting to see how, how that would translate over time. 
but um, yeah, we can play Crusader Kings too. That's like a good, yeah, fuck it, fuck it. Let's do a beta, a beta test. A little beta test of, of, of Crusader Kings for a very short amount of time. I don't actually want to play that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I may I may quit stream and, and like have a few minutes after after we get into it. But I do want to actually play a, play a video game because like that's that's what the stream is about. Oh my god, it doesn't work. Oh, never mind. Ugh, oh, for some reason my, my streamlabs is like borked a little bit and I don't know why. Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. It just comes up very miniature. You know what, I think actually that's a pretty good end for the stream of today. Um, we did some good testing, we can most likely look forward to a nightmare of borders. Uh, eventually because of uh, the um, because of the converters uh, I'm going to do another sort of like test run sometime during this week um, because I do want to like play to the end of these games as well so I'm gonna try to do that soon and that might solve some issues with the converter might fix some issues with the Albert the Hearts of Iron converter because I don't know what's going on really with that thing um, and honestly, if we manage to do a complete game through all the way to the end of Victoria 2, that's almost close enough for me. If we can't get it to work in Hearts of Iron, I may just I might just skip it and just play Workers and Resources of Republic. Um because it's fun. Uh, and also like mod it a little bit so it so it works. But I'm going to raid someone who is having a good time on, on Twitch today. I'm going to send you all to someone to someone good who's having a good time. Sophie is editing. No comment check is playing some game that I don't know what it is. Lottie is not in. And Sean is learning Japanese. So we have a, a lot of a lot of good options. I'm gonna send you all to Hearts of Iron 3. Oh god, no. I d oh, Jesus. I'm gonna send you all to, to Sophie, and you can all be very kind to Sophie. And, and give, give, give her my love. Uh, first, I have to check some things. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Give them love, my love. Sorry. Um... I messed up. And I will send you all to them and uh, go hang out. But and then sometime during the week we'll we'll fix these uh, these streaming issues and we'll make we'll make a we'll make a good we'll make a grand 